Now, in this question, I have 14.01 grams of N2, and that's going to react with 3.02 grams of H2, and that's going to form this ammonia, or NH3. And what we want to know is, we want to know what is the mass of ammonia that's going to be formed. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to write down the chemical reaction for this, and that's going to look like this. It's going to say that we have N2 here, and that's going to react with this H2 right here, and that's going to form this NH3 right here. So I'm going to do an arrow, and I'm going to put down that we got NH3. And what I want to do is, I want to uh, balance this reaction. And so in this reaction, I have two N's on this side, and I have one N on this side. And so I need to get more N's to this side. And so I can add a whole new molecule of this NH3 right here by putting a two right here. So instead of having just one N, I can say I have two of these molecules, and each one of these molecules has one N. So I can do this 2 times 1 here, and I'm going to get not 1, I'm going to have 2 ends on this side. So I got 2 ends there, and 2 ends there. So the ends would now be balanced. And now that I've balanced the ends, I want to balance the H's. And so there are 2 H's on this side, and I have 2 of these molecules right in here. And each molecule of this, of NH3, it's got 3 H's. So I want to have 2 times 3, so I'm going to have 6 H's to the side. And so I have six here and two here. I got to get more H's here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a three here. So instead of having two, I'm going to have six H's to this side. So now the H's are balanced and the N's are balanced. And so now that I have a balanced reaction for this, what I need to do is I'm going to take the, this number right here, this 14.01 of the N2, and I'm going to put that right here. I have 14.01 grams of this N2 right here. And then for this one, I have... 3.02 grams of this H right here, H2. So I'm going to put down that I got 3.02 grams of this. And what I need to do is I need to find the mass of this one right here. So I'm going to put a question mark and then put a G. And I always like to put a G here, uh, right here. So that way I know I need to uh, solve this for grams and not moles. And in this problem, we have two different reactants and two different amounts for both of them. And we don't know which one's an excess and which one's a limiting reactant. So what we have to do is we have to figure that out. And so the way we figure that out is we see which one of these can produce the least amount of NH3. And that's going to be the limiting reactant. And limiting reactant will determine what actually ends up being made. So I'm going to do this problem basically twice. And so here's the N2 that we have. I have 14.01 grams. So I'm putting up 14.01. And what I have to do is I have to convert this to moles. And a mole will be equal to the mass in grams divided by the molar mass. So I'm going to take this 14.01 right here and divide it by the molar mass of N2. And that's going to be 28. So I'm going to take 14.01 divided by 28. And I'm going to get 0.5 moles of N2. And what I'll do now is I'm going to go from this reactant here to this product over here. Because I'm figuring out which one can make the least amount of this right here. So I'm going to put an N2 on the bottom here, and then I'm going to put what I want to make up top like this. And so there's a 2 right here, so I'm going to put a 2 there. There's a 1 right here, so I'm going to put a 1 right there. And then now, this N2 here can cancel out with that N2, and what I'm going to get is going to be 0.5 times 2 divided by 1, and that's going to be, that's going to be 1 mole of NH3. And so... This chemical here, the N2, can make one mole of NH3. And now what I gotta do is I gotta figure out how many moles can this one right here make. And so what I'll do is put down that I got H2 right here. I'm gonna say that I got 3.02 grams of this. And I'm gonna divide it by the molar mass, because I'm using this equation right here. The molar mass of H2 is gonna be two. So I'm gonna do 3.02 divided by two. And that's gonna be one point five one and then I'll be moles of H2 like this and that's gonna be over one and so what I'll do now is I'll go back up to this reaction um, and I want to put the H2 on the bottom and that reaction says I got a three here so I'm gonna put down a three there and it says a two right here so let's put a two up top there that way I'm going to convert from this H2 there to this NH3 there and so what I'll do is this number here times 2 divided by 3 and when I do that I get 1 mole of NH3 and so 
each of these can produce one mole of NH3. And that means that because they produce the, the, the least amount of NH3, it means both of these run out at the same time. So when this reaction is complete, it means I'm not going to have any of this, and I'm not going to have any of this. I'll have all product. And because they're both run out like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert from I'm going to convert from moles of um, NH3 here. I got one mole each of them to the mass in grams. And so it doesn't matter which one here that I pick. So what I can do is say I got one mole equals the mass in grams I don't know and I'm going to divide this by the molar mass because this is the moles of NH3 this will be the grams of NH3 I need the molar mass of NH3 and so the molar mass of NH3 is going to be 17 and so I'll do 17 times 1 so I'll, the mass in grams of this would be 17 grams of this NH3 right here so this would be the answer